So what is it like to grow up as the only child of one of the most famous and respected actresses in the world, Shirley MacLaine? Well, it's not all terms of endearment, according to her daughter, Sachi. No war hangers! Mommy Dearest is the classic movie about what it was like growing up as the daughter of a Hollywood star. Joan Crawford is the caricature of the mother no one would want. Yes, Mommy Dearest. Now the spotlight is on another Hollywood icon parenting skills, Shirley MacLaine. Her look-alike daughter, Sachi Parker, writes about her childhood in a new book, Lucky Me, My Life With and Without My Mom, Shirley MacLaine. Shirley MacLaine is bigger than life. She is a force to be reckoned with, and she's big in everything she does. She's big in eating an ice cream sundae. <laughs> From war and peace, Downton Now starring in the global sensation Downton Abbey, McLean at one time was a triple threat. Who sang, danced, and acted, and went on to win an Oscar. I deserve this, thank you. For her portrayal as a mother who has a love-hate relationship with her daughter in terms of endearment. Why should I be happy about this? But McLean's real-life daughter, Sachi, says that despite the glamour, her childhood wasn't a fantasy, but more of a nightmare. Your mother was absent My most of your life. Yes, she was. She was very absent. I was very lonely, very lonely, definitely, and I still struggle with abandonment issues and loneliness. She was always happy to see you for about four hours, and then suddenly you became an intolerable burden. Ah, <sighs> Mom. <laughs> Four hours? That was the time limit? Pretty much, yeah. As a young child, Sachi was sent to Japan to live with her father, Shirley's husband, businessman Steve Parker. You didn't go by yourself when you were two. Yes, I did. That's You were in an airplane by yourself when you were two years old yes. to Japan? Yes. It was a propeller airplane in those days where it took a couple of days, I believe. Well, who took care of you? The stewardesses on the flight. Excuse me. McLean remained in Los Angeles making movies. She spoke to Barbara Walters in 1990 about how her career came first. And I was not about to give up my work. No, I saw my mother suppress her own creativity. I wasn't going to let that happen to me. Sachi says she looked forward to the little time she did spend with her mother, holidays and a few weeks during the summer. I missed her all year. But she lived primarily with her father, who she says was verbally abusive. You said he had a special nickname for me, the idiot. He obviously had little respect for my intellect and he would never let me read. I don't know why. That's pretty harsh. It is harsh. That is harsh to be called an idiot. It's a definite source of pain for me, uh, still. McLean and Parker had an open marriage and saw each other just two or three times a year. When we married each other, we recognized neither of us wanted a conventional marriage. We did not want to be tied down. And neither of them were. Sachi says while her father lived a lavish lifestyle, she was often left home alone. Yuki Banks is a childhood friend. Sachi would call me because she was all alone. And I said, where's your dad? I don't know where he is. I'm all alone. The pattern of neglect would continue when, as a young teen, Parker was at a boarding school in Europe. One Christmas, she says, neither of her parents showed up when the school closed to take her home. Where were your parents? Where was your mother? I don't know. I, I, I laugh now, but I have to say, at the time, it was very scary. I was literally stranded, and I did not know how I was going to make it through the night. How old were you? I was 14. By yourself? Yes. No idea where your parents are? No idea. Have no idea where you are? No idea. And it's Christmas? That's right. Seeing her distress, some kind strangers took Sachi in for two weeks. Did you say anything to your mom when you finally spoke to her? Like, mom? I did not, because I was really brainwashed by the Japanese culture, but really by my father. Never to inconvenience people. Or cause any kind of trouble. Once, McLean was upset, Sachi says, when she and her friend Yuki couldn't find their airplane tickets. And she 
had already decided that Yuki and I had cashed them in for money. So she put us in separate rooms and interrogated both of us. I remember just the feeling of being starving, being locked in the hotel room and just having the tap water. I was really scared. I thought, oh my gosh, I am so glad this person is not my mother. Sachi says she recognizes her mother in this clip from the movie Postcards from the Edge. I came from nothing and I made something out of my life. I think you should just get over what happened to you in your adolescence. It is time to move on. Unable to afford college, Sachi worked as a maid, a waitress, and for four years as a flight attendant, still wishing for a connection with her mother. But I would look up and the in-flight movie would be the turning point. She was right there and I would just yearn for her and yet it was a movie. Sachi wanted to be in movies herself, but she says her mother did little to help. She did appear in Back to the Future. Who is that guy? And Star Trek, The Next Generation. He's missing three costal struts on one side. But her career never took off. What's the matter? In 1986, she and her mother made a Diet Pepsi commercial together. Oh, Mom, I really wanted that job. Listen, when one door closes, another door opens. I always learn more from my failures than I did from my success. That's kind of her. Perhaps she wrote the script. I don't know. In the mid-80s, Shirley MacLaine took an otherworldly detour from acting and became a best-selling author of New Age books, proclaiming her belief in reincarnation and UFOs. It was during that period that Saatchi says MacLaine told her that Steve Parker was not her father, but actually a clone of her real father, Paul, who was orbiting in space. That story is so crazy. It, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. I mean, who believes a story like that? She does and did. I mean, most people would say somebody believing that has a screw loose, to be honest. I choose to believe that she was wide-eyed and so full of wonder. Sachi says she tried to make her mother see that Parker wasn't a clone, but rather a con man. And when McLean discovered the truth, she divorced Parker after 28 years of marriage. So tell me why you decided to write this book. It's not a very favorable portrait of Shirley MacLaine. I hope that she will see the positive in it. Sachi is a divorced mother with two teenage children who she says rarely see their grandmother and know her mostly through old pictures. Sachi still wishes for that happy Hollywood ending with her own Gosh, mother. Our whole lives are ahead of us there. I find myself wanting to protect her so badly because I so love her. And yet the pain is very deep. I don't, I would hope that she would own it and apologize. I think that'll ever happen. We did contact Shirley McLean to see what she had to say about specific allegations in her daughter's book, and the answer we received was no comment. We should also add that Sachi Parker also has not heard back from her mom. We do know she sent her a copy of the book with a note that said, I love you. Shirley McLean is traveling, and so far there's been no I love you back. And if you'd like to read the book for yourself, you can when it hits stores on February 7th.